Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 26th of 2019, well, it is titled Venus and Jupiter on the Horizon. So what do we see here? Well, off in the distance, we see two very bright objects not very far above the horizon looking towards sunset. And you have the young lady there looking, uh, almost looking like she's looking at those two as this framed fo photograph is framed to show. And those two objects are not stars, but are actually planets within our own solar system. They are two of the brightest objects in the nighttime sky after the moon. Moon definitely being the brightest object in the night sky. But after that, we have Venus, which is down towards the lower left, and Jupiter, which is towards the upper right. Now, they appear very close together on the sky, but they're actually quite far apart in space. They just happen to be in the same general direction in the sky. So Jupiter is actually much further away than Venus. Venus at its uh, closest can be just a few tenths of an astronomical unit, which is an Earth-Sun distance away, whereas Jupiter, even at its closest, is at least four astronomical units away from the Earth, so four times the Earth-Sun distance. So why does Venus look bright and why does Jupiter look bright? Well, they're for two different reasons. Venus looks bright because it's so close and has bright clouds that reflect a lot of the sunlight, so it looks overly bright. Jupiter looks so bright because it is such a large object. So even though it is further away, it is much, much larger than Venus, Venus being about the same size as the Earth, and Jupiter being many times that size. So it looks very, very bright when we look at it off in the distance. So Venus being the second brightest object in the night sky and Jupiter being the third. And we have a chance to be able to see them over the next few days, if you get a chance to go out and have clear skies in the evening shortly after sunset, look out to the west and you'll see these two bright objects there over the horizon. Now, you won't be able to see them for a long time. Venus will be visible. Venus is getting higher and higher in the night sky right now. So Venus will be very prominently visible all winter. However, Jupiter is fading into the sunset and will be hard to see as it comes uh, into the similar direction as the sun, so we won't be able to see Jupiter anymore in just another few weeks. So Jupiter will be disappearing. Venus will be coming more and more prominent, higher and higher in the evening sky as the evening stars. Well, good chance to see Venus over the coming few months. Now, also, over the next couple of days, we're very close to New Moon. In fact, New Moon is today, the 26th of November. And if you have a chance, you would be able to see the moon, a very thin crescent moon, join these over the next few days. So a chance to see several objects very close into the same general direction on the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November the 26th of 2019. It was titled Venus and Jupiter on the Horizon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be ringing in a new galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.